Hi guys, I'm Fiona of Candy Puka Productions, and welcome to Let's Play Off. Now, I know nothing whatsoever about this game. It is completely new to me. All I know is, apparently I'm gonna control a dude called the Batter, and this game is said to be one of those that has a bit of a profound effect on you. I, I don't know a lot more than that. Jjo was the one who recommended it. I haven't seen any Let's Plays of it. I haven't even hit New Game yet. So I I really have no clue what I'm in for. I have been listening to the music. There's a reason the headphones are around my neck. It's because the music is really eerie. And I love eerie stuff, but it was really, really distracting. Um, another thing to preface before I actually get uh, into this. Uh, number one, you might notice I am in a different recording area. I moved to my living room because the lighting is better. The other thing is my cats are loose and running about. I usually lock them out of my bedroom when I record. So if there are any weird interruptions or a cat flashes across behind me, I do apologize. Uh, if either one of them start meowing, I'm sorry about that too, and I will try to work around that. But without further ado, I'm going to put my headphones on and we're going to experience the adventure that is off together. Oh, again, you guys have been listening to this music the whole time. It's so pretty and so eerie. I also find it eerie that I can select continue, but it's grayed out. Um, so we're going to say new game. I don't even know what all the controls are going to be. Um, no, this text is not hard to read. This text is fine. Uh, I'm good. Caution. It is possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. What am I getting myself into, guys? <laughs> the musical... okay. Um, well, I'm not playing without them. I'm listening to them. Okay. Unproductive fun time. Enter your name. Well, clearly I am Yona. Obviously. This is not like the most conducive way to type on this game, but it's the only way I know so far. Your name is Fiona, correct? Yes. I'm a girl. All right. Welcome, Fiona. You have been assigned to a being called the Batter. It's getting weird right off the bat. <laughs> right off the bat in the batter. Hey, hey, I'm horrible. The batter has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you out in zone zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the judge. This going to be interesting. I have a feeling everything about this game is going to be off. To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. Okay. Okay, so we can move and we can... Apparently we can't, like, jump or anything. We can just kind of move around. Alright. I mean, it's pretty cool. I actually really like the RPG Maker style games. Um... Zone Zero. Okay. Um, but yeah, I actually like this style of game. Um, I played Eve a while back. Hello. What the fuck are you? You are not normal. I have a feeling this is a horror game and I'm going to hate J. Jo. I'm... When she gets home, I'm a... I'm gonna do something. Anyway, uh, let's see, what kind of voice should I give this guy? Uh, let's go with a, There cannot be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusory interlocutor. Did you mean interloper? I don't... Okay. I'm the batter. I've been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? Her name is Fiona. 
she can't talk to us. What the fuck? Don't speak for me. I can speak just fine. However, she can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Fiona. You are creepy as fuck. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. Well, I do have two of them. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. Yeah, both of mine do that. Although Yona's been meowing a lot. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. Said that already. <laughs> I must purify the world. Lofty ambition, dude. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Okay, can I move? Okay, I can move. So... I can't see what's inside. Okay. Uh, that's a chest. A luck ticket has been found. Okay, I don't know what that is, but cool. What's that? It's impossible to get around this obstacle. What do you mean I can't get around that obstacle? Fuck you, I want the box! Okay, can I do anything here? It's... quite peculiar. Oh, well, yeah, I'm with you on that. Is it like... What is it? Is, is this like a weird elevator code or something? I don't... Can I look at the window? Oh, right. I looked at that already. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, let's see. Can I look... Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagoric, phantasmagorial being. Phantasmagorial? I... Whoever translated this, either the intent was for this guy to be really fucking intelligent, or whoever translated this had a linguistic boner. Uh, which I can't fault. I love language, but phantasmagorial? Might you, in fact, be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I have been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt my... You did not even interrupt me in my deluded phantasms. I don't... I don't think you're using the right words. You keep saying that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loo. You are definitely using the wrong words. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was misled. However, there exist other zones. And in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? I played Undertale. This might go badly. Uh, sure, combat tutorial. Whoa. Okay. Purification in progress. This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right-hand side of the screen. It's the opposite of what I'm used to. Your opponent, however, in this case yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Does auto mean I run them over with a car? You know, like automobile? I'm horrible. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in the classical fashion. Ooh, with like classical music and shit. Yeah! If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of the coward. I dehort this alternative. Is dehort a word? But now it is time for the offense. Choose attack, select the batter, 
then choose attack anew to off me with your bat. Didn't know we were getting you off, bro. Is that kind of a fight? <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back, and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Okay. Okay, this is so... so weird. Okay. Apparently I'm pure? Row? Am I rowing away in a boat? Okay. Excellent, dear sportive companion. You must consider the fact that the batters and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assaults. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with slyness. On occasion, your cast iron will get you a critical hit, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. Th things don't fly in heaps. But let us move on, if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right-hand side of the screen. There, you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. Competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. Finally, you have, yet again, the opportunity to flee. But remember, solely the batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this luck ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. A luck ticket has been found. Okay. This is... Okay. Impeccable. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my dear. Don't you my dear me? I think you're gonna eat me. I really do. That mouth is creeping me the fuck out. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I am of course talking about competences. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points, or may be in, and of themselves, powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competences leads to a consumption of competence points, CP. So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try it right away! Are you setting me up to fail? Choose competence and try using the wide angle, which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Okay. Let's select me. Competence. Okay. The Judge, an odd-appearing cryptic cat. HP 300, CP 30, no weakness resistance. <laughs> you now know not only all about me, but also all about the art of combat. About the wide angle. Know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked out for a long time. The confrontation ends, theoretically when the health points of your team, or all of your opponents, fall to zero. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. I'm really wondering what the fuck is going on here. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Am I like a missionary? Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me, if you still want me as your guide. My cat just jumped up beside me, FYI. I think he's getting the theme of the game here. This is... This is interesting. Hi, Thunderbeast. 
Uh, let's see. Let's examine all this shit. I can't. What? It moved. Why did it move? What is going on here? I think it's a nice day outside. Ah, uh, you would, wouldn't you? Okay, so you just find words on walls to be weird. Okay, that's impossible to get around. Alright, cat. Oh yes, to pass through here you need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. You are... pretentious as fuck! I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall in some way or another. Oh! Oh, okay. So it's... One, two... Three... I like puzzles. I like puzzles. This is good. Ooh! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If that's the case here... Was there... To remove that. But this doesn't make 442887C or 448287C. I'm confused. Is it the windows? Right, I. But I have a feeling that tells me how to. Where do I... Ah, no, that's not where I'm trying to go. Oh, but I'm confused. Okay. There's gotta be a way. Okay, kitty cat. Is there a problem, my dear pictorial heroes? I am not your janitor. I cannot do everything for you. Nonetheless, may I dare you to suggest your... You... Nonetheless, may I dare to suggest you wage activating certain ones of these strange floating blocks more than one time, if required. So come, solve this intriguing puzzle for me, and quickly, if you please. I wish to rejoin the ground floor as soon as possible. Okay, so did he actually just make a, I'm not your mama? That's fantastic. Okay, so let's see. One, two, six, eight, two, three. My cat is messing with the blinds. Hold on. I'll cut this out. We're back. Sorry about that. Uh, so let's... Okay. 1, 2, 6, and 8, 2, 3. So... 1, 2... I guess this would be 6. And then 8... And then two, and then three. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's let's run back here. I, I really want to get that chest. I am a huge completionist, and this is gonna bother me. So is there There are floating boxes out here, but there's not like I can actually I can't actually do Oh <gasps> It's already solved. Okay piece of silver flesh? The fuck is silver flesh? The fuck is this room? Ah ha ha! Finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited recompense makes its entrance to the scene. What? Crunch nom nom crunch. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, it circled all the way back around. I was the one being a dum-dum. Okay, okay. Okay, so we've gotta- I've gotta try to memorize this. 448287... It looks like a C! It- it looks like a C! I, it's not a C, but... What is it? What number is that? I guess that just means bottom center one? Okay, so 448287. 
So four, four, eight, two, eight, seven. And then the bottom? Yes! Okay. Ha! Ha ha! Here is an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest, dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones by the contrast of bad taste it imposes on your view of its clashing color, defying any sensible course of plastic arts. However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its criticizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a lieu of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out in order to discover locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion. We have wings? Well, fuck. And hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Don't worry. He's so dumb. Like, he just, he doesn't, he hardly says anything. I just get the impression he's just not too smart. Do not worry, I too travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will newly meet one another eventually, without a doubt. Ah, by the way, take this. This object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter Zone 1. Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? No, you haven't. The Leo card has been found. So I can do... Oh, okay, okay. So... Uh, am I, like, literally eating someone's flesh to... How do I go backwards? Escape again? Okay. Am I literally, like, eating someone's flesh to heal? It's so weird. Okay, so I've just got wide angle. Good to know. Equipment? I've got a herald bat. Nothing defensive. Okay. What's my status then? Okay, I'm my class is savior. That's a little uh ambitious. Grade purifier. Statut. Status, I guess. Maybe that one just maybe these didn't get translated. This is this game was originally in French and it got translated. Okay. Okay. Hopefully these are decent stats for this game. I don't know. I have no clue. Active? Waiting. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, we're gonna save. Okay. And... I'm actually gonna stop this one here, because I've already hit, uh, like, 26 minutes as far as just from the time I hit the record button, uh, which means I've got plenty of material to work with because I don't want you guys to have like super long episodes. I want shorter because it allows me to put out more in a shorter span of time. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this first little intro to Off. I'm a little wary, but at the same time, I'm really excited. Um, and I honestly might just go ahead and record the next episode as soon as I finish this one because I'm really excited to see where this game is going to go, and this has just kind of wet my whistle. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button, and if you want to see more of this, uh, or if you want to check out my Nuzlocke playthrough that I'm working through, my Nuzlocke randomizer, um, then, you know, click over to there, or uh, hit the subscribe button. Anything helps. Um, comment if you want to chat with me about anything. I try to respond to everybody. And um, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>